Baby, hit that back and burn The poor for burn We got his and hers Too lean and working Close the window curtains Right up in your skirt Take off, hit the curb Too lean and working When I pop up, it's a bitch We run every run Hey y'all, as y'all can see, I am very excited to do this video because I'm about to be done with summer school. We have less than two weeks left. So today's video is going to be a drugstore makeup routine. I'm not going to take too long. This is actually going to be a voiceover, but I just want y'all to hear my voice. If you're new here, hey, I hope you stay and I hope you stick around. Make sure you subscribe. And if you're returning... <laughs> if you're returning hey i'm glad you came back i'm so ready i have everything in here i'm not gonna lie to y'all i don't have no drugstore makeup like in my client kit yes but in my personal kit no so i kind of struggled a little bit and some of this stuff i'm gonna have to use like reusable applicators to um apply myself because this stuff is client this is client so i'll let y'all know or give y'all uh links to everything in the description uh box but without further ado let's get started okay so hopping straight into the video i'm going in with the elf matte primer and i'm gonna put this everywhere but especially in my t-zones where my nose my uh forehead under eye and my chin and the top of my lip then I'm going in with the uh, uh, MAC found MAC, really diamond. <laughs> I'm going in with the Maybelline Matte and Poreless. As you can see, I love matte uh, foundations because my skin is oily and I don't like oily skin on oily makeup or like dewy makeup because I be looking greasy. But um, I'm going in with my, I think this is e.l.f. The e.l.f. Uh, beauty blender it's so cute i like that color that's like a cute pink that is not pink y'all know what i'm trying to say it's a cute like burgundy nah, i don't know my colors whatever color that is it's really cute it's like a deep purple pinkish color burgundy color but then i'm gonna blend it out <laughs> with this morphe luminous setting spray because although it's matte it dry down real fast it still like give you that glow but this is gonna give more glow and it's gonna um get those hard those pieces not pieces those sides that dry down faster than the other sides if that makes sense this is the la girl pro concealer in the shade um i think it was cool tan i'm a double check so i was close cool tan is close to that but that's pure beige pure beige i believe is a little bit lighter or they might be like one shade off from each other but this is the og of the concealers like if you don't have this in your kit what, what you doing what you doing but that's the elf um i don't even know if i ended up using them because i really don't like cream contouring y'all because it's so harsh but that's a uh, chestnut and ebony or deep chestnut i believe is that one the first one i'm picking up and then ebony is the one with the black top so yeah i actually did okay y'all i really do not like cream contour like it'd be so harsh but i did it so but yeah you want to control the concealer in the light spots where i have it under my eye under my eye forehead nose lip chin and then i do those two uh contours you see i have the light one on top and the dark one on the deeper one on the bottom it helps blend out that concealer i mean that contour well cream concealer like more um more seamless so it doesn't look as harsh instead of you just going in with one of them like the darker one the deeper one yeah that's gonna be harsh and then the lighter one would be it will blend in too close to your skin color you want an even balance um i'm going in with the beauty blender on the side that i did not use the foundation on but i am going to go back over the like harsh or see or um the harsh lines with the side that had the foundation on it if that makes sense so 
you're using like the residue of the foundation to kind of help you blend and mesh those uh, different colors in or those creams in. And that's just the e.l.f. blush brush. But I use it as the blending brush because look at how good it blended out. Like, look at that. You cannot tell me that don't look good. Like, but anyway, so you blend that out really, really good. But y'all, let me tell y'all something. I love a good face. I love a good B face. Normally, I do my eyebrows first, but this time, when I do a drugstore makeup or like a quick makeup look, I do the eyebrows last or like in between. And then I go in and I carve them out with like concealer or like how I just did right now, the residue from the foundation brush that I put, like rubbed it all over my skin with. Um, sometimes I don't want to be too neat because I want it to look kind of natural even though my under eye be so bright that it don't really be that natural but that's the that's the tan sand elf concealer and it gave me that i told y'all like i like the under eye to be bright i like to look like woke up but i blend it back out with that that brush the residue from the contour then i go in with the uh revolution banana powder and a, a tip for that is to use the brush first and then blend it out with the um beauty blender because you want to use the brush to really get into those tight creases that you have under your eyes if you have them um i don't bake and i don't dust it off i blend it in you see how buttery smooth they look yeah i learned that when you let the powder sit on the face it makes it look cakey that looks smooth it looks really really smooth so i'm going in with the juvia's place bronzing palette i use the lightest shade first on my nose and then i use the lightest uh shade also around the edges of my like where my contour was the cream contour but i only go in a little bit with the deepest shade if i want to just be looking snatched but other than that i go in with the lightest shade do y'all see this Every time I see this, this makes my heart drop. But yeah, back to it. So I also use that same banana powder to carve out and clean up my contour. And then use any mascara to clean off the cream and the powders from the eyelashes. And make sure that you clean your nose up with your powder also. I'm going to have to come right back, bro, because my heart is getting so bad. Let me, let me calm myself down. Nursing school literally makes my anxiety so high, y'all, but that's not the topic of discussion for this video. So, like I said, I like to pat the powders down because it looks so it looks so good. But I go ahead and go back in with a little bit more of that light shade to kind of mesh those powders together and then i make sure my contour on my nose is really blended really sharp really looking good then i spray that morphe luminous setting spray to get those those powders to melt and everything to look seamless i know my forehead looks a little bit night uh light but i'm gonna get like tony down so that was the nyx eyebrow gel that's to really get the hairs to stay in one place that's the duo lash glue i love that glue and these are some mink lashes from the beauty supply everything is pretty affordable and you can still achieve a nice look and then i go in with the wet and wild highlighter i don't even know if they still sell that i've had that for a minute but i go in and i highlight all the areas that i want to be like shimmery and popping and then i use the ruby kisses lip oil treatment and this is the final look i know my forehead's still a little light but it's probably the ring light because that ring light be bright i'm not gonna lie but bye i hope you learned something baby hit that back and burn the four for burn we got his and hers to lean and working close the window curtains Right up in your skirt, take off, hit the curve, turn, 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 tur